डालस डालस क्या हाल है क्या हाल है क्या हाल है मैं हूँ आपका दोस्त आपका साथी डी जे मूरी ऑन फन एशो वीडियो वन ऑफ फोर पॉइंट नाइन एफ एम ऑन अ लीडर्स जर्नी टूडे आई हैव मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ फर्टिलिटी इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स एंड करेंट बोर्ड मेम्बर इमीडिएट पास प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ टाई मिस्टर सनी राइट हेयर ऑन फन एशो वीडियो Sunny Banerjee is managing director at FIS, the number one fintech company in the US with over 13 billion in annual revenues. Prior to joining FIS, Sunny was the managing partner for the management consulting practice at KPMG, a leading global consulting firm where he was also the leader of their financial services practice and one of seven members of their global management consulting board. In addition to the role at FIS, Sunny actively invests in fintech's real estate and in the hospitality industry through his family office. He is also focused on giving back to the community and is on the board and immediate past president of TIE Dallas, the largest association of entrepreneurs, and on the board at Common Purpose, which is focused on developing leaders who can cross boundaries. Sunny also is an active investor in distressed turnaround opportunities with Starwood and international hotel group Franchised Hotels. founding investor and advisor to the CEO of Switch a fintech startup advisor to the CEO of Exenica a big data fintech startup investor and advisor to the CEO of Skyven Technologies he enjoys mentoring and volunteering for his community charter current board member and immediate past president of TIE Dallas a silicon valley based technology focused startup organization board member of common practice a global leadership organization devoted to developing leaders who can cross boundaries past executive member of the confederation of the indian industry western region mumbai the largest industry association in india paul harris fellow of the rotary movement sunny has advanced degrees in man- in finance mba and a bcom in accounting and economics very impressive dallas listeners of funish radio a very happy independence day to all the indians and pakistani celebrating independence day of india and pakistan aapko bahut bahut independence day ki mubarak a leader's journey produced by vishali thakkar i'm moody akhtar sponsored by pepper smash in allen adyar anand bhavan in frisco IV Montessori Academy GS Alazar Law Firm and Malco Nepali store at the Music City Mall once again a very impressive Sunny Banerji on Funish Radio this evening Sunny welcome to the show thank you very much looking forward to a wonderful discussion with you madhi yes and uh, sunny uh, we'll just start you know very impressive profile i wonder you know how much hard work was put behind and and that's the whole purpose of doing this show that we have bought in on funish radio is to to have uh, people who want to grow in their life and do something different do something new look out for the next big thing Sunny we will start with your journey where did you, where did it all start I think it all started by coming from an amazing country India to another amazing country the United States uh, I still believe very firmly that we are in an amazing country that offers tremendous tremendous opportunities and the other thing that really helped me is the genuine blessings of elders you can work hard and the luck will follow but it's all about being very passionate about what you are all about what you want to do and the impact you want to have around your dreams and your desires it's absolutely you 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 just touched upon a couple of so powerful things when you said you know coming from you know india south asian country to another land of opportunity in this beautiful america and blessings of elders i i think we all mostly live by that our faith is our elders we just think something they're doing which is working despite of all the hard work we put in so sunny what are your some of the things you would like to tell the youth the the mid mid you know people who are in their 20s 30s wanting to be where you have reached what is the journey i think believing in yourself is a good starting point you really have to believe in yourself and what you stand for invest in yourself have faith and 
I still continue to encourage and tell people who I mentor that the opportunities, if you are in the United States, is just massive and huge. Do not listen to the negativity. Just think about what you want to do, how you want to impress others, build your brand equity. I mean, one of the things that has really helped me is figuring out early on what are my weaknesses and what are my strengths. Because that allows you to understand the kind of jobs and roles you should prepare for. Because many times we just start, we finish college, and then we start a journey. And I can't tell you how many times I've been in social dinners and people have just been complaining about their current role, about their jobs, and it continues dinner after dinner. And I'm like, everything is in your control. If you really think about it, it is how you identify the problems that you're facing in life and then coming up with a plan to counter those problems. And we all have, you know, every one of us, wherever we've reached with our elders' blessings and with our hard work, we have always encountered some serious challenges along the way. But I think what helps us is having faith in ourselves, having the ability to dig ourselves up every time we fall. Because in a journey of about 30 or 40 years, believe me, you will fall many times. The key is you dig yourself out. And I have a famous saying that I always tell myself, this too shall pass. And it always does, right? If you look back, every environment, every situation we have come into, tomorrow is brighter, tomorrow is better. And you have to continuously tell yourself that you can overcome the current situation where you might feel it is impossible, but you will be. So some of the leadership qualities that I request people to please consider is have faith in yourself, build your brand equity, and build a lot of humility. Do not ever allow your richness or any material aspect or whatever you achieve to make you a non-humble person because arrogance will not get you anywhere. Is that the legacy you want to leave behind? Or do you want to build in genuine hum humility and empathy in your leadership? Very powerful, very powerful words, Sunny. I'll, I'll stick with brand equity for now. And I'll tell you one of the challenges we face as South Asians, you know, I'm talking about 10, 20 years ago, we feel stuck. You know, most of us who are challenged we feel we are stuck. We don't see the next five years, 10 years, which you start seeing once you are, you know, have crossed those hurdles and challenges. And then you say, oh, you know what? If I can solve these three major family problems or corporate problems or business problems, now I think I can handle it. But they have not done it. So how do you help them understand your mind? You know, one of the things I would genuinely request is, and this is not a plug for the association I'm a board member of, but be, contact us at Thai Dallas. We are a genuine group of people who have been successful in many ways. There are some who are experts in the fintech, some in the energy, some in banking. There are others who are specialists in the functional areas, in supply chain, in finance, in marketing. So depending, and these are, we are not individuals who are seeking to make money. We are seeking to give and share our advice and prevent you from making the same mistakes we have made. So reach out to us because to your point, you know, the world keeps changing, right? When I come first came, the opportunities were very different. If you were trying to build a second stream of revenue, the typical South Asian journey was investing in gas stations, in hotels, in fast food. And the stories here in the Dallas Metroplex are they're giants who have created massive opportunities and wealth. The shift has happened, right? If you look at it, the economy you are in, the creator economy, but you have to be really good at what you do, right? You have to build yourself and make yourself really good. Mediocrity is not going to be rewarded. So the one thing I request people to consider is find what you're good at, be very good at it. I mean, I'll tell you an example. YouTube gave out $20 billion in the last three years. $20 billion. $20 billion. So that went out to the creator economy. The marketing budget in 2022 for the influencer economy is about $15 billion. So someone's going to make that money, right? The top people in Instagram by each post are making six-figure incomes. 
just as a side income yeah and then that side becomes your major, major earnings right i i hear of individuals who are experts in say coding who are software engineers think of outside your box of the work you're doing and think of the other ways you can help influence and earn but again going back to your original question which i think is at the core of this right what are you famous for when we say jeff bezos we think of one thing bill gates steve jobs it's easy it just comes to you right, right? away you do you know what that last name stands for yeah what does sunny ba- when they ask me what i typically get nailed into the fintech world and i've consciously done that i've had very good mentors who advised me early on that you want to be famous for not everything you want to be really good at something so that's my one advice to all of our youngsters who are listening is specialize and become very good at something that you know you can be good at and you can be passionate about and every day you can wake up in the morning and you don't feel like you're dragging yourself out of the bed but you're dying to get to work and do what you do do not ever stay in a job where you're not having fun and we can touch on the visa issue because i went through a journey and many of us went through journeys and uh can i share a little bit of my yeah it's all so once again dallas you're listening to if you just tuned in a leader's journey on financial radio and i'm moody akhtar produced by vishali thakkar and uh, sponsors are uh, for this evening a to b adyar anand bhavan in frisco for the best south indian food j salazar law firm for all your immigration needs and pepper smash in the colony which has a huge patio sports bar overlooking lake Louisville and Ivy Montessori for over 20 years for all your children's needs. And Malco Nepali store at the Music City Mall for all your Nepali grocery needs. Once again, Sunny is here. Sunny loving your uh, chat, loving the things you are giving to the community. Uh, let's talk about the issues you were mentioning just now about visas. Yeah, so, you know, I remember still very vividly, you know, one of the steps that goes between an H1 and a green card is, is there was an ad put out in the paper and you go through the process and you still see it right i still see it because the one of the applicants of that had about 10x my experience had more degrees and i was devastated but i listened to my attorney i framed it i worked with my company and i was able to convince the process that there was something unique in my background and in specialty and i did some other certifications prove that i was more qualified than this code on code the first view was that this individual is more qualified so all i'm saying is from the depths of des- being disparity right you can dig yourself up and you can come up with a plan and you can hope for the best and you have to pray for the best and again you know you do the right things good things will happen to you it might not happen in the time frame you want it to be it might not happen in 3 years or 5 it will happen in your lifetime so very very important that you always have that faith and always do the right thing so humility i you'll see me re- repeating myself because i genuinely believe in these things humility empathy kindness you can be an aggressive leader you can set aggressive goals but don't do that by mistreating your team having the right degree of empathy and kindness as you work towards this is really what will make you successful and you know some tactical examples so ask yourself what do you want to be do you want to be the ceo of a company do you want to have your own company do you want to have a second stream of revenue if you're so choosing a professional uh, career one of the things is understand who all your search recruiters are like Spencer, Hydric, all of those build a relationship with them. Because if you don't, those are the folks who will help you in the course of your journey. So, being very careful and thoughtful as you build your network and who you build it with becomes very key because 5 years later, those are the individuals who will reach out and help you out. Wow. So, so Sunny, I'm really really impressed with the things you are giving to the listeners of Funish Radio. I want you to touch upon dream big. You know, some of the philosophies you have had you are you ready to touch on those or are you wanting to discuss some other journey lessons? No, I think I think dreaming big is important. I think also what is important is finding some role models. 
it is so key to find role models and really know in depth how did these individuals become successful. They are very similar. Nobody is other than Einstein maybe and some other special geniuses, right? We are all individuals with skills and capabilities and we all have skills and capabilities. We are good at one or two things better than everybody else. But you have to know that early on. I never felt bad that Bill Gates was a billionaire because I knew I was never as smart or good or didn't have the capabilities as a Bill Gates. It didn't frustrate me. So don't compare yourself with Bezos. Be, example, be your own Bezos. Exactly. I mean, you can set that as a goal. Enjoy the journey. Don't try to manufacture goals in between. Just enjoy the journey. Put your best. At the end of the day, if somebody asks you, did you do your best? You wouldn't hesitate a nanosecond without saying that, yes, I put in my 200%. Absolutely. So once again, Dallas, if you're listening to Financial Radio, our leader's journey, I have Sunny here talking amazing uh, uh, things that you are benefiting from. Don't forget this evening, Al Anita Travel Financia is live there with lots of giveaways. All the airlines are at the venue. So please go to Al Anita Travel and enjoy some lots of giveaways by Fanesia and Al Anita Travel. Second thing, Sunny, we talked about is believe on yourself. I think you touched upon that. So do you want to say a few more things on that or we have covered that? No, I think the believing in oneself is, again, it goes about analyzing and we don't do that, right? We Some of the most smartest brains, they don't understand what they're really good at. A big part of success in life is being able to communicate your ideas, your vision, and getting others to buy into it. Now, in many instances, if you don't have good communication skills, that's something you can learn. You, how do you connect with people? And the biggest is when you're speaking with somebody, don't just rattle off, try to understand what is that person trying to achieve by sitting down with you, by meeting with you, I think understanding and being a step ahead before the other person asks the question, or if the other person asks the question, truly understanding what is behind that question. Don't try to rush into an answer. So I need your help there, right? I, let me be the person who is distracted with technology 24 seven, because we always have the next thing to do, right? right? And right now we have remote going on, we have sponsors to mention, we have Independence Day Mela tomorrow, we have Pakistan Independence Day happening now and my kid is at the park and the list goes on, right? It never ends the way we, how do you, I, I kind of understand when you're at work and you're getting certain responsibilities, you do it. How do you bring that totally in your life? See, that's a wonderful question because focus and priority is really something that allows somebody to success. And with that goes a holistic way of living. I didn't know when I was in my 20s how useful meditation is, how useful a workout is, how useful eating the right way is, right? If we just study, we get to work and we expect we're successful. No. People who are successful have a holistic way of living because you get tremendous amount of energy. You get a positive outlook to life. And focus is all about success. You cannot, again, you cannot spread yourself too thin and expect to be successful. The other thing that is goes hand in hand with that movie is learn to delegate and trust. It's one of the, when I coach entrepreneurs, one of the biggest challenge they have is, their response is, oh, they won't do it as well as I will. Well, imagine, would Jeff Bezos ever have an uh, Amazon? If he thought that, he's a perfectionist. Elon Musk is a perfectionist. They've built billion dollar businesses. They have hired correctly. They've built a good team. They trust the individuals they hire. They tell them what they want to do, and then they let them do it. That's what leaders are supposed to do. You're supposed to empower people. Let them try it out. Let them fail. Don't beat them up, because that's a part of learning. That's the process, right? So I think you, you, hit on the, you hit the nail on the head when you ask that question, because focus, priority, balance, that's what will make you a happy person. Because at the end of the day, I always have fun. Yeah. So you have to enjoy life and you have to surround yourself with really good positive people. That's the other one I'll, I'll touch on. Do not spend your time with negative individuals. The energy will pull you down. Surround yourself with amazing positive people. Withdraw yourself from people who are 
throwing things at you because it's not worth their time. Let them figure their lives out. But withdraw yourself and just focus on surrounding yourself with positive people. You'll be amazed. You'll hit, again, just going back to you'll hit roadblocks. That's how you come out of roadblocks, by having faith and being with really good. That's why when you told me, I said, Moody has always been positive. Every time I see you, I see that smile. And, and we meet a lot working out at Lifetime Fitness. So it's great to see you. You know, amazing story. So Sunny, once again, Sunny Banerjee. Am I, am I saying it? Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. I, I just want to make sure <laughs> I got your last name right. You Sunny did. Banerjee, right here on Foundation Radio, A Leader's Journey. Passion. We all have passion. And, and be kind. You touched on that. Anything else you want to tell? I think passion, energy, knowledge, never stop learning. We are embracing and entering and already entered a knowledge economy, right? There are services out there where you can drive and start a newsletter. If you really think you're good at something, start a newsletter, charge $5, and there are websites and facilities that will generate and do everything else for you. There are so many ways of, if money making is your, is your, is your desire, right? It doesn't, and money doesn't have to be the only thing you focus on. You uh, money comes with passion. I exactly. mean, you can, you can be a great, uh, knowledgeable person in certain area and you can start your newsletter which mm -hmm. can bring you money. Absolutely. So your passion, yeah, look money at, follows. Look, look at sites like Gumreads and Kofi. Uh, Kofi is like a, you can, you can, it's like, think of it like a, a dipping cup, or a tipping cup, but in the electronic version. Wow. So you do your thing, somebody else will tip it because they like your idea. Oh, wow. So the, the crow creator and the creator economy is something that is massive. Cybersecurity is massive. Biotechnology is massive. And then you have the traditional. If you, f if you say that academics is not where I want to go into, go back into the traditional economy. Look at the demographics. Aging population. Healthcare. Massive opportunities in this. How are you going to take care of the aging population? If you look at all the residential investments that is happening for taking care of elderly folks, doesn't need to be a rocket science. It requires hard work. Yeah. Capital's out there. And that's, again, if you come to Otai, we have set up an angels uh, group. And all, all it is is if you're an entrepreneur and you're seeking capital, if you're seeking leadership ideas, come to us because that is what gets us going. You see how excited I get when I talk about it? Yeah. We have a whole group of individuals who are just like me and, and zillions more <laughs> successful than I am. Wow. waiting to advise and work with young adults so that we can take them and make them really, really successful. Wow. So, Sunny, we have two minutes before you depart. And once again, on behalf of Shali Tucker and me and Fanesha Radio team, thank you so much for taking the time and coming out on the Saturday evening. Would you, would you like to say a few words before we say a goodbye? No, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, again, just remember that we all are in a country that offers the best opportunity ever. Do not look at the constraints, look at the opportunities. Do not, it's not glass half full, right? And when you get stuck, identify individuals who you trust, reach out to them, and trust and discuss how you can get out of your quote unquote, if you feel you're stuck, you will always get out. So passion, be motivated, surround yourself with positive people, that's, that's what I like. And, and how do they get in touch with Thai if they really want to use some of the opportunity that you mentioned? Is there an easy way for them to just Google it or what? Yeah, you can, you can Google Thai Dallas Angels or you can do, I shouldn't give out yeah, the number. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you can, I, people are driving, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, you can contact me at 214-551-8001 and I'll connect them to the right people if I cannot help. So absolutely. And you can Google me, Sunny Banerjee on uh, LinkedIn and just get in touch with me and just Google Thai, Thai Dallas and uh, you'll see the member login and you can connect with people and the rest as we say will history. I mean, uh, maybe in a year's time you'll call me back and say oh, what happened after after this wonderful show Modi that you conducted which is fantastic. Keep Really keep doing this wonderful job that you're doing.